Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to be going over uh, my tips from the last round, see how I did. We're also going to check out round two tips for the AFL 2021 season. Uh, didn't do as well as I, I would hope to have done last round, so we're, we're going to get into that. And then uh, we're going to also show you my tips for this week. I know one of the games has already started and you, you'll get to see uh, how I did on that one. But uh, uh, Cat, Cat says hi and let's get right into the video. Let's go. All right, round one, let's get into the tips here. So for the first game, I tipped Richmond over Carlton by seven points. So we got the tip on that one. We got the dub on that one. Didn't quite hit the margin. I originally had it by 25, which would have been spot on, but I adjusted it to seven. And uh, so now, so we missed the margin by a little bit, but still a good tip. We got, we got, we got one here. So I'm gonna, I end up getting a total of five this week. So it's not terrible, but yeah. So let, let's take a look at the next one. Bulldogs, I had Bulldogs in this one and we got the dub again. Uh, Bulldogs came out with the big win, 69, 53 over Collingwood. Um, Collingwood actually had a really nice showing today and we'll get into that in just a little bit. And now we are at uh, Melbourne Demons and the Fremantle Dockers. Again, getting another dub with the 80 over 58. Melbourne Demons, we tipped them we are three for three now starting off and uh here's where things start to go a little bit downhill when it came to the crows versus the cats uh i don't think i was the only one who missed this tip i think a lot of people really missed this tip maybe if you're a crows fan you you might have gotten this but uh the crows with a big big win over the cats um kind of a little bit of an upset from my understanding uh crows finishing last place last year so uh so for them to beat the cats is pretty awesome the cats did really well last year they made it to the grand final so huge Huge win for the Crows this week, and unfortunately, we missed the tip on that. When it came to Essendon over Hawthorne, I really wasn't sure who to pick on this. I ended up going for Essendon, um, just because I knew a little bit more of the uh, of them as a team, and I, you know, they were they're a pretty good team last year. I feel like so I went with Essington again. It, it, this could have went either way. Uh, the Hawks winning by one point, so uh, super close, and um, I'm sure about half of the people, you know, probably picked. Uh, the Hawks or have people probably pick the Bombers. I know there was a lot of upset Bombers fans in this game. It was a little bit of a bummer, but uh, again, we missed the tip on this one too. And then next, when we get into the Lions versus the Swans, another huge game. I don't think many people thought the Swans were going to come out uh, with this kind of showing. Uh, I know the Swans have been a fantastic footy team up until the last couple years. That's what everybody's been telling me. So the fact that they did put up these numbers and they did get this big win isn't necessarily surprising, but it is good to see given their history over the last couple years but they get a big win over the lions and Minky gets a big l when it comes to the tips because i did tip the lions in this one just based off of that that idea that the swans haven't been that great over the last couple years but it's going to be really interesting going forward to see how the swans do because they played super well and they got a big win over the lions so Next, we have North Melbourne Kangaroos and Port Adelaide. I did tip Port Adelaide in this one. I didn't know much about the Roos, but I knew Port Adelaide is a fantastic team. They did really well last year, and uh, they got a they got a big win over over the Roos. And by big win, I mean they almost doubled the score on them. So, I. Uh, uh, Big showing by Port Adelaide. Fantastic team. They move the ball really well, and they're actually really fun to watch. Uh, I really enjoy watching the uh, the Port games. Um, just really impressed by by how quickly they can move the ball around the field and find space. So that was really fun to watch, and we did get the dub on that one. So very, very good. Now, when it comes to the Giants versus the Saints, I went with the Giants. Um, you know, I no real reason, to be honest. Um, just went with the Giants. I was, it was, this was honestly a toss up for me and I thought it would be cool to go for one of the expansion teams. Um, and then in, in the next tip, you'll kind of see, uh, uh, what I want with the other expansion team, but I went with the Giants winning this one. It was a very close game. Actually, the score was, you know, it was, a, it was an eight point game. So, um, not definitely not a blowout and, uh, it was a close one, but we got the L unfortunately Saints with the big win over the Giants. Um, it'll be interesting to see how the Saints and Giants do going forward. Um, I'm, I'm going to kind of follow the Giants a little bit this year to see how they how they kind of do. I think they it, it mostly I want to compare them to to Gold Coast. Um, after watching the video on these two teams, the two expansion teams and the kind of their their trends after their introduction into the league, uh, it's been very much. It seems like the Giants, like out of the two expansion teams, the Giants have been the ones to to uh, do well and the Suns have been kind of lacking but this year from what I hear could maybe be different I don't know so I'm I do like to follow those two teams as far as where they're doing and how they're and how they're going, coming along but uh fortunately we got the L on this one Giants lose to the Saints happy Saints fans 
And then finally, in the last game of the week, we have the Big Birds versus the Gold Coast Suns. I tip the Eagles in this one. Um, I like the Big Birds. I like the song. You know, they flying high. I think it's, it's fun. It's fun. So, and Gold Coast, in my ex limited experience, hasn't done that well. And uh, West Coast is definitely a good team. So, we went with the West Coast Eagles and... We got the dub on that one. So out of all nine games, we went five for nine. So over 50% for the first round for the American. Okay, not terrible, not terrible. However, when it comes to the, you know, the grand scheme of things, there are 110 people in this tipping comp right now. It's an open tipping comp. If you still want to join, there is still time. You can still do it. You're going to be a little bit behind, but uh, you know, play along with us if you'd like. I will link the tipping comp in the description below if you want to play. We have 110 people in there and I'm ranked 95, so I'm not, I'm not at the bottom, I'm not at the very bottom, but I definitely have some work to do, so uh, you guys will maybe have to help me out going forward in the future, um, unless you're in the tipping comp, then, then, then you're probably just going to try and sabotage me, but let's get into what we had tipped for this week, because uh, we got some big games coming up, and we already had one happen, and uh, let's see how we did on that. All right, moving on to round two, the moment you guys have all been waiting for, and when it comes to the first game of this week, that happened uh, just a few hours ago. I tip Carlton over the Magpies, which, according to the statistics here, most, you know, that's that was kind of the odds. People thought the Carlton was going to win. So I want Carlton by 13, and boy, was I wrong. We had a big showing by the Magpies today, a uh, big win for Collingwood, and Carlton just couldn't pull it off. There was a lot of back-and-forth moments. Carlton was was behind most of the game. Or I, I basically watched bits and pieces of it while I was at work and listened to some of it. Um, it, it just kind of seemed like Carlton was always behind in, in different gaps and they, they, you know, they'd push it up to, you know, a, a, an eight point deficit and they fall behind again. And that was kind of the, the story for the whole game. And they could never really just get even or get ahead. So big win for, for, for Collingwood. Um, it seemed like Coxie played good. So I'm always, uh, I almost said rooting, but I'm not rooting for Coxie. I'm going for Coxie in the, in the magpies here. So that's, uh, that's, that's fun. So good for them. Unfortunately, we, our first game of the week, we got the L on, but there's uh, more games to come. So let's get into our tips for the rest of the round. All right, when it comes to the Cats and the Lions, I'm going with a little bit different of a thought. And this round is, is kind of along this trend too. I'm kind of picking some of the underdogs in this one just to see what happens. So when it comes to the Cats over the Lions, I'm going to tip the Cats. 81% uh, think, you know, or whatever, the or think the Cats are going to win. Um, but just kind of based off of, of how the Cats played last week and then, you know, how the line i think the lions played pretty well uh and so i think there might be might be a little bit of an upset we're gonna find out we're gonna find out so hopefully the lions can get a big win here i know the cats definitely need a win but yeah it'll be it'll be good to see all right moving on to the sydney swans versus the adelaide crows and this game is kind of the uh i would say maybe the matchup of the week i don't know but these are the two teams that did the best last week as far as points goes these are the two teams that really came to play had kind of a bit of an upset on both sides and uh, now they're playing each other so i think both teams are going to have a lot of uh you know fire in their bellies a lot of energy off of their both of them getting their wins both of them are gonna you know have something to prove here in this next game. So I think this is actually potentially going to be a very good game to watch, but I'm going to go with the Crows on this one, even though I'm starting to kind of rethink it a little bit. I think, you know, the Swans are, you know, off to a great start, but going with the underdog, we're going with the trend of the underdog. And the fact that the Crows had a big win last week, I definitely think that they have the potential to do it again. And so I also think that if I can nail some of these, um, some of these tips that are, uh, are less, um, less odds or lower odds that maybe it'll help jump me up in my tipping comp a little bit if it turns out that these guys win so we're gonna go with the crows in this one over the swans super interested to see what happened i'm going to try and catch this game um it's it's actually an early game for you guys it's a it's so it's a night game for me it's not an early morning game so this might be one that's uh um, maybe we can do a stream for or um or or i can catch before bed so Super cool game. I'm super excited. This is one of the more exciting ones for me to watch this week. And let's move on to Port Adelaide versus Essendon. Um, I'm going to go with Port in this one. Not really following the underdog trend in this one here, but I just watched how Port played last week and I was really, really impressed. And I think if they play that way this week, they're going to get the win over Essendon. Um, Essendon played well, but they I don't think they played nearly as well as Port did last week. And um, watching both games... I, that's that's just the feeling I got. So I'm gonna go with Port Adelaide in this one. Um, you know, anything can happen in a game of footy. So who knows? But I have strong feelings that Port's gonna have a good year this year, 
and uh, they're going to get the big win over Essendon. Next, we're going to look at the St. Kilda Saints versus the Melbourne Demons. And, you know, I'm, I, I'll be honest, I kind of have a little chip on my shoulder. I don't, I'm, I don't want the Saints to win, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm a little biased. I'm going to go with the Demons on this one. I'm hoping that the Demons beat the Saints. And I know you shouldn't tip on what you want to happen, but this is the one instance I'm doing it because I want the Demons to win and it will be good for me because I feel like a lot of players or a lot of people are going to go for St. Kilda in this round. And they're going to tip for St. Kilda. And uh, they're probably onto something there. But I think by tipping the Demons, if the Demons can get a win, this is really going to possibly bump me up in my tipping comp a little bit. And uh, I think the Demons played decent last week. I mean, they did beat Fremantle, and, but Fremantle's not the best team, but still. Um, I think uh, there's a lot of potential in this game, and I don't think it's maybe going to be as one-sided as these odds may make it out to be. Who knows? That's just the American opinion over here. Not worth a lot, but we're going to find out what happens on Saturday. Next, we have the Gold Coast Suns versus North Melbourne. And, you know, I really wasn't impressed by how North Melbourne played last week. You know, I, I was not super impressed by how Gold Coast played, but I think they played a lot better. I watched both games again. And um, even though Gold Coast got the loss, they still played well in, in moments. They had good showings, whereas North Melbourne, it was just pretty much a one-sided game uh, last week. So uh, and you can kind of see that in the odds here. Most people think Gold Coast is going to win. Um, if North Melbourne wants to, to have any sort of a year, they really need to, I feel like, step it up a notch in their play. Again, we're only in round two, so anything can happen going forward. But uh, I, I'm going with the Gold Coast Suns, the expansion team, in this matchup. And then next we have the Hawks versus the Tigers. And even though the Hawks got a big win last week, the one-point win, the, the one-point win, screwing everything up for me. But... Unfortunately, I don't think it's going to mean much against the Tigers. The Tigers are just a force to be reckoned with. Winning the grand final last year, Dusty Martin's insane. And uh, they just always seem to play super well, especially when it comes down to those clutch moments. You know, those moments that really matter that as, as a team you need to capitalize on every um, opportunity. I feel like the Tigers are very good at doing that. And I'm not sure the Hawks are just up to that caliber. Who knows, though? Again, any given day, any given Sunday, this Sunday for you, uh, anything can happen in a game of footy, but I really feel strongly about the Tigers, not only in this game, but for the rest of the year, I feel like uh, a lot of teams are going to struggle playing the Tigers, uh, and you know, it was kind of the same way last year, so it'll be a, a good game to watch, maybe there'll be an upset, who knows, but again, I'm still thinking the Tigers are going to win this. All right, next we got the Doggies versus the Eagles, and uh, this was a little bit of a tough one for me. Um, I did watch the West Coast game, and I thought they played very well, and I do like watching the Eagles play. Uh, I did not get to watch the Bulldogs game. I listened to most of it on the radio. I was at work, so it was it's kind of tough for me to kind of see how they play. I did watch a little bit of the highlights from the Dogs, though, and uh, I thought they, they played really well, and... This was just kind of a hunch, gut feeling. Uh, no real reason on this one, but I'm going to go with the Western Bulldogs over the West Coast Eagles. I think the Doggies are going to have a good year, and that's exciting. So uh, let's see what happens, right? Um, both good teams. I think this is actually going to be potentially a really good game. Uh, both solid teams in general, and uh, both both play good footy, and that's fun to watch. So this will be a good game to watch, and definitely probably going to check this one out. It's a little bit later of a game. We'll see if I can watch it live or not, but... Doggies, let's go. And finally, the last game of the week, we got the Dockers versus the Giants. And, you know, it's kind of interesting to see how, you know, it's it's basically even as far as the odds go, but they do have a slight edge to Fremantle, which I find interesting. Um, just based off of how the, the Dockers played last week, I'm not super confident in them getting the win. I think the Giants played pretty well even though they lost to st kilda i still felt like it was a good game it was they had a chance to come back and win that game even though they didn't whereas the dockers game it was it was pretty one-sided so i'm going to go with the giants this one i'm i feel like the giants are going to pull it off over freeman so i feel like they might have a chip on their shoulder over losing to the saints last week by such a close game and so let's see what the giants come out with this week all right so there is your tips for the round two 2021 afl season for Mankey. Again, if you want to join the tipping comp, link will be in the description. Uh, again, you're a little late, but I'm ranked 95th, so there's a good chance you beat me by joining now. Who knows? So, check it out, and again, if you end up liking this video or you like uh, like what I'm doing with the AFL stuff, please hit that like button on the video and consider subscribing. That way you can stay tuned in on when I post more videos. And uh, if you want to share this with any of your friends, please do. That's one of the best things you can do to help the channel out and uh, get more people into the tipping comp, and that way we grow the community and have a lot of fun. 
Discord's in the description as well. It's a great place to give me video suggestions as well as uh, chat with me in person and everybody else in the community. But yeah, I hope you have a great round two. I'll be doing maybe some live streams this weekend. I'll keep you guys updated. But I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Peace, love. We'll see you later.